Are you ready to hear a story of Hansel and Gretel? Ooh, look at that. It is a storybook and a playset. Wow, isn't that cool? Come on, let's have some storytime fun. One crisp and cool morning, Hansel and Gretel were helping their father gather some wood in the forest when a beautiful white dove landed on a branch above Gretel. Hansel, look, she cried. At the sound of her voice, the dove startled into flight. Gretel ran after the beautiful bird. Wait, called Hansel. But Gretel didn't slow down. While he hurried after his sister, Hansel broke pieces from a loaf of bread, which he was supposed to save for lunch. We'll be able to follow the bread trail back to our father, Hansel thought. The steady chop, chop, chop of his father's axe trilled in the distance. The children weaved through the tall trees, jumping over stones and logs. All the while, Hansel tossed crumbs along the path. Finally, the dove perched on a high branch. I'm hungry, Gretel said, tiring of the chase. Can we go back now? Of course, little sister, Hansel said. But as he grasped her hand and turned round, he watched two cardinals eat the last of the crumbs. Oh no, he cried. We'll never find our way back now. Well, said Gretel, we should build a fire to stay warm and sleep here for the night. In the morning, the children were even hungrier. They walked onward, hoping to find something to eat. Suddenly, they smelled a wonderful smell. Gingerbread, Gretel said. In the forest, Hansel asked. They followed the aroma through the trees. In a clearing, they saw the most wonderful sight. A candy house! The doorway was made from red licorice. The roof was lined with peppermint sticks. And the doorknob was a large piece of apple flavored candy. Best of all, the roof was covered from tip to tail with cookies. With a shout and a squeal, Hansel and Gretel ran to the house and began to eat whatever they could grab. Gretel scooped frosting from the frosting bushes. Hansel pried licorice from the front door. They both tore cookies from the shingles. As Hansel reached up high to sample another delicious cookie, he jumped back at the sound of a voice. Nibble, nibble, little mouse, who's that eating my candy house? The candy doorknob turned and an old woman shuffled out of the house. It is not often I have visitors, the woman said. Won't you come inside for lunch? Oh, we couldn't, Hansel said, beginning to think they should not have eaten a stranger's candy, especially out of a house. Please, Gretel said, we haven't eaten in so long. The old woman simply smiled and turned back into the house, leaving the door open behind her. The children followed. 
They sat at the table and drank milk and ate pancakes, apples and nuts, all the while feeling uneasy but also feeling so very hungry that they did not stop eating. Won't you be so kind as to climb into the loft and fetch my shawl? The woman asked when Hansel and Gretel finished eating. So Hansel climbed the stairs. But when he reached the loft, he didn't find any clothes. He found jewels and gold. Why do you have all this treasure? He called. As he turned around, he saw that she was pushing the last of the chocolate steps into the wall. He was trapped. What are you doing? cried Gretel. How will I get down? asked Hansel. The old woman gathered bowls and spoons, ignoring the children's pleas. You little girl, said the woman, who Gretel now realized was a witch. You will help me make gingerbread. What about me? asked Hansel. The witch cackled. You are the gingerbread, of course. The children cried and screamed, but the witch only sang her terrible song. Nibble, nibble, little mouse, who's that eating my candy house? Hansel paced back and forth in the loft. While Gretel was forced to carry flour, sugar, eggs and gingerbread spices to the table, the witch stirred a giant bowl of dough. Finally, Gretel realized they would have to do something to outsmart the witch or she and Hansel would be trapped forever. You know, Gretel said, our mother makes better gingerbread than you. The witch snorted. You have never even tasted mine. I can tell by the ingredients, she said. Just look at the way the dough sticks to the bowl. The witch scraped the sides of the bowl with her big wooden spoon. Hmm, she said. And the egg yolks are so dull, she added, and the water and oil are cloudy. As Gretel drew the witch's attention farther and farther away from the loft, Hansel started to get his footing on the jewels sticking out of the gingerbread. Just as he was about to climb down further, the witch turned around. You, she shouted. If you think you can play tricks on me, then the girl will be the first one in the oven. Run! Hansel yelled. Gretel ran to the door of the house, but it was shut tight. The witch hustled her over to the fiery oven. Now step inside, the witch said, and then you can make lots of gingerbread friends on the roof forever. Gretel struggled to get out of the witch's tight grasp, but she realized she wouldn't be able to break free. So she took a deep breath and leaned toward the oven. But I don't understand, Gretel said. How do I fit in the oven? It's simple, child, the witch said. Just get in. But where should I put my feet? Gretel asked. Oh, for goodness sake, the witch cried. Like this. The witch leaned over and Gretel pushed. The witch tumbled into the oven and popped back out as a crispy gingerbread cookie. Hooray! called Hansel, who was watching from his perch on the wall. 
Now please pull the steps out of the wall and we'll finally go home. So Gretel helped Hansel down from the loft, but not before he scooped as much of the gold and jewels as he could and filled his pockets. He knew the treasures didn't belong to the witch and Hansel would do everything he could to return them to the rightful owners. The children ran out of the house into the yard. When Hansel looked back at the house, he saw many children sitting on the roof, each rubbing the eyes as if awakened from a long, tiresome dream. Thank you! They cheered. Hansel and Gretel helped the children down and they all covered the witch with frosting. Then they stuck her to the roof from where she could forever watch over her delicious candy house but never again turn children into gingerbread. And that's the end of the story of Hansel and Gretel. I hope you all enjoyed today's story. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Bye-bye.